Good morning. It is week three of the challenge already, so I think today is like day 11. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done today. There is no school, so my husband is home, my youngest is home, and one of my college kids is home today and tomorrow because his school does not have school today or tomorrow. So really not sure how much I'm going to get done. I really do want to prioritize family time, but my office is really driving me nuts. I'm at least going to get my Harry Potter closet done today. Um, I am closing out one of my businesses, so I need to just make sure all of that stuff is out and I've gotten all of that taken care of. I do have my art business still. I'm not really doing much with that right now, um, but I am starting a new business, so I will be doing decluttering and organizing with clients. I've had three clients so far, so I'm really enjoying that. So I need to make space for that stuff because I'd like to get like a bag that I take with me that has like, you know, tape measure and like storage bags and permanent markers and tape and all of that. So that's something that I really want to like make sure that I have a spot to store that. So goal for today is clean out the office closet and then depending on what else we decide to do today, we might just have a lazy day or maybe watch some movies or something. It's going to be rainy and cold. So I just want to make sure that I'm available, but people are still like having a slow morning. So I'm going to take advantage of that time now and get this done so I can enjoy my family the rest of the day. So here we go. Just like other areas in my home, we ask a lot of this room. It doubles as my office, my art studio, my husband's office, my workout gear is in here. There is a lot in this room. It actually functions really well. We've gotten the organizing systems down pretty well. We've got the layout of the room done pretty well, but things still get very cluttered in here. There's still broken systems. There's still clutter. So I'm hoping to tackle it well today. And like I mentioned, I have a Harry Potter closet. This was actually one of the selling points for me. This closet has been through a lot and it finally is better, but it still has some clutter as you can see so we're gonna just try to get that under control today and really try to make better use of this space i feel like i'm really close to getting it where i want it to be so here we go because this space is so cramped i'm not sure what kind of good camera angles i'm gonna get so we're just gonna do our best i need to tackle papers i have a bin for each year for like just papers that come in that i think i might need for long-term storage so i just throw them in there and then it works out well because in like january will be the bottom february march april all of that but i never went through this at the end of the year because i forgot about it and then i never started 2024s so i don't think i'm gonna have time to do that today so i'm just going to take like this bin and make this the 2024 bin put all of these papers in it and just come back another day when I have more time for this but I'm going to I think take out these two cubes here because all of these things are gonna go goodbye and then I have other like art business things in here I'm not sure what's supposed to live there oh I know what it is it's out on my my work table right now but just to kind of like maybe move this over here because there will be space and that'll make getting in there a little bit easier for things. So just kind of reworking the space a little bit. I'm not sure how much I actually am going to declutter, but just kind of work, rework this space a little bit better. I'm just going to start by clearing things out of the closet, trying to make a little bit more room for working. I also need to get back to my toolbox to grab my hammer so that will help me get these wire cubes apart. Just tapping lightly on the connectors just helps everything pop apart quickly. I also use the hammer to just lightly tap things together when I'm building these just for a little bit more of a secure um, connection. And then I'm moving over my three drawer cart and that fits perfectly and just continuing to clear things out, go through things, figure out what needs to be in here, what can move elsewhere. I actually found my son's thank you notes from his grad party, which is good because he's gonna have to write one of those when he's home. And just really make sure that anything that is in here actually needs to be in here. But then, right now I'm at a standstill because there's so much open space and I don't know how much to leave for things. <sighs> Let me show you. So we have art supplies, art supplies. These will probably move down here just because they're really heavy. There's like ratchet straps and clamps and things like that. So those will probably move down there so the floor supports them more. And then I've got like my box of like when you roll change and stuff like that will come and probably sit here. 
So I could separate these out a little bit. So like goes one, two, three, just because that's sitting on the side, but I'm not so mad about it that I necessarily want to do that. So I do have like the box of money stuff coming in. So that's one container or one. So that's one cube. And then when I get a work bag, it'll go in one. And then I just found my other tripod and my gimbal, which is going to make these videos much better. So that'll go in here. So that's still two open things. I don't like having empty space just to have empty space because then I fill it with things. So I'm, I'm kind of at a loss of what to do right now. Oh, I just had a thought. I can take off this stack of three and build another one right here because that would give room for the 2024 box to sit like right here on top of this one. And then I think I would have every cube filled. Then I can always come back and add more later. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna take these off, build another one here. So let's do that. So it's time to go back and clear more things out. And I figured if I'm moving my journals, I may as well go through them. That is something really challenging for me. I love notebooks, I love planners, I love journals. All of those things make me so happy and it is really hard for me to get rid of them. But there are some in here that are dated for like two years ago that I never even used. So time to let them go. They're just going to collect dust in here and be in my way. So I might as well just let them go. Once everything is moved out of those cubes, I'm going to take the hammer and just gently disconnect everything again. I love these wire cubes. I have had some of these since I was in college, way back in the stone age, if you ask my children, but I love how versatile they are. I've used them in so many different areas of my home for holding kids toys, board games, all things like that. So these are definitely one of my most favorite storage organizers and here it's looking afterwards i absolutely love how much space i have in here how easy it is to get to everything it's amazing how just taking a few things rearranging it a little bit can really make a big impact sometimes so yeah i'm really pleased and i'm impressed i was able to get rid of planners however the rest of my office is kind of exploded on itself so i should probably get to work on that as well before the day gets going i'm going to start by going through these papers i think these papers in this box are all 2023 but i'm going to sort through them and actually found all of january 2024 but i really want to take this basket and see if it'll fit on my planner shelf for like my my clips and like rulers and things like that that I use for my planners and holding like the little planners or little notebooks that I have. I think this basket would fit, especially since I just decluttered them. And then just knowing what papers are in which box is going to be a huge blessing in the long run, even though I don't have time to go through the papers today. I also set up my 2024 box, so I'm making sure that that's all set. I'm going to try to put both bins into the closet, only the 2024 fit. That is okay. That way I'll actually maybe have time to do the 2023 one because I'll see it out and about and not tucked in the closet. And once those papers are all done, I'm going to start tackling my work table. Now these are a lot of the products that I have left from my business, a lot of things that I had on hand for when I did open houses. There's some memorabilia in here from when I hit different rinks or when on different trips. Um, there's things that I had for gifts for my customers. So while it feels good to be sorting through this and getting rid of it, it also like, there's a lot of emotions, but something that's really cool is being able to reflect on this time and not feel like it was a waste that if I hadn't done this, I probably would not be starting my own organizing and decluttering business just because of all of the things that I learned and all of the growth that I had. So I'm very thankful for the past seven years that I had with this company and just where my life is going now and just doors that it's opened and it's, it's a lot of emotions, but I'm feeling really good about all of this. And this big box I'm setting aside for, um, I have a friend who runs the business still who is going to be purchasing some of my items off of me so I know it won't go to waste. Stopped for a little bit to go check in with the family and I think I'm just going to 
put pause on this project for the day. I might come back a little bit later to just kind of finish up some piles and things, but I'm not going to really plan on doing it until tomorrow, which will still be interesting because my college kid will still be home. So I am kind of expecting him to sleep a lot, but on the off chance he wants to do something, I really want to be available with him because this is his first time being home since he moved in. So kind of want to be there, but here's how I'm leaving the office today. Not much has changed since I showed you this last, but I did add a few things for my business. So it looks so much better. I'm really excited about how like neater this is and more organized it is. The rest of the office, not so much, but tomorrow's a new day. I'll come back with new energy and just enjoy time with my family, which editing Shauna here was a good move because my daughter ended up coming home a day early. So she got to hang out with us and we got to spend time as a full family again. Back in the office for part two. I'm hoping to get it finished today. I did schedule two days for it. There really isn't much left. However, there's one shelf of my art storage shelves that I'm really struggling with. So stay tuned as I tackle that. Um, did not get anything else done in here yesterday, but that's okay. So we're just gonna see what we can get done today. Let's go. You know me, I love working clockwise around the room, so I'm gonna start at the entrance to the office and just start there, making my way around the room. I'm actually cleaning up my easel because my youngest loves using this, so I'm actually gonna put his stuff away. We have an Ikea spice rack on the wall behind the curtain for all of his stuff, so I'm gonna make sure his watercolor paints get back, put back there. I'm gonna clean up the cube warrior pieces and put them in a container to go back to the garage with the other pieces. And then apparently my tripod broke and it ended up like getting a really bad angle here, but I still wanted to share the clips even though it's not the best angle because I don't know about you, but I know when I get overwhelmed, I just throw things in bins and then I hope that I will deal with them at some point and not need the items in that bin. So I need to go through that bin. I really need to stop doing that and just trying to do things in the moment rather than delaying part of de part of clutter is procrastination and delayed decisions so i really need to be better about that but moving on to the desk i am fixing the microphone that i use for voiceovers because the cord in the front really drives me nuts and i get like i tug on it all the time when i move around so i'm going to wipe off the desk while i can and i'm going to just tidy it up before moving on to these baskets this desk I love it but it does not have drawers so I've actually put baskets on these little shelves and use them as drawers so just kind of going through stuff I actually found the missing scotch tape which I don't know why it was in that bin but now that I know it's there um, we'll just remember it's there for next time I really don't have a spot for tape and then moving over to the other side of my desk, there are a lot of post-it notes that I have on my bulletin boards that just visual clutter don't need to be on my bulletin board. So I'm actually moving them to my desk bullet journal. I love this bullet journal. I set it up here. So whenever I have ideas or things I want to work out when I'm in the middle of working, I can just put it in there. I have you know, blog ideas or real ideas, video ideas, or when I'm doing my YouTube, um, the fonts that I use, the colors that I use, things like that in there. And then when I'm working and I get an idea like, oh shoot, I forgot I have to call this place or I need to order this thing, I can actually have it open to a blank page, write that down and keep working without stopping to take care of that thing. Because when I have ADHD, if I get distracted, I am never getting back on task. So this has really helped me stay focused, keep everything in one area. So I always have it with me. It doesn't always live on the desk. I do have a like a file unit, like a desk um, file folder. I don't know what it's called, but I have that over easily accessible for my desk. So that's where it will typically live if I am feeling extra distracted or don't want a lot on my desk. So just going in and putting all that information in and putting all of the pages into my table of contents so it's easy to refer back to later. So I love this. I recommend even just having a blank piece of paper when you work to write down things that you know you think about while you're working it has really been a game changer for me.
and then we're just going to wipe off the top of the desk and move on to the baskets that I'm using as drawers on this right side. This first one, the first basket has things like my stapler and push pins and paper clips, anything like that, any like little office supplies. I actually have little mason jars in there to kind of keep things separate and that works really well. So it's like a container for a drawer and then containers within the container. It keeps it really nice and organized in there. And then this back one, it looks like anything random get gets thrown into this basket so we we need to change that I'm actually going to put the garbage bags in the bottom of the garbage can because I always forget that I have these down here so I'm always running back upstairs to get a garbage bag and all that's actually going to live in here is just going to be like the disinfecting wipes and then this index file card box it has index cards with like motivational quotes on it not a lot of them like apply to my stage of life but i know that there's some really good ones in here so i'm going to sort these out recycle the ones that i no longer need or want and then keep the other ones because when i'm having a rough day especially if i'm working and i'm feeling like really down on myself which let's face it is often i like to read through these almost like as affirmations and then it just really helps me focus and get going on my day and just really turn my day around so i'm going to just go through them and then i'm going to leave the the box on top of my desk so i can see it it's not the prettiest thing but it does not have to be pretty to function And then moving down to the bottom shelf, yes, I am too. I have stuffed animals in here. I love to have a stuffed animal or two on my lap as I like work. It's just cozy and comfy and keeps me in a happy place. Skipping over my husband's things, moving over to my storage units, which is hard because my husband has some stuff on the top shelf on top of like my memory things. So I found a couple memory things and frames that I can't quite put away, so I just tuck them to the side for now. Then I found piles of things. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. So I need to figure out a way to like put things that need to be taken care of somewhere else. But here's where it gets really difficult. This shelf, like... <sighs> It's a project I've been working on for years. It has taken hundreds of hours of time, hundreds of dollars, and it just sits there and it haunts me. So I need to do something. I'm actually only keeping a few of each item and then the rest I'm donating to, to school because I know it will be used there. It'll be loved, it'll be appreciated. I'm still working on the project, but just having all of these tangible items here in my home has been like, a darkness in my office like it just looms and it's just stressful and I feel so much guilt there's so much emotion when it comes to decluttering at times so we have to remember to be gentle with ourselves take breaks go as slow as we need to come back another day if we need to but just don't put it off forever because that's really not good for your mental health but it did clear up enough space that I was able to move another box of my originals over and clear up a whole shelf for like those projects that I'm going to need to work on at some point so now i have a project shelf all right all done decluttering now it's time to clean up the mess i am going to label some of the containers on my storage shelves just because the labels were either wrong or there weren't labels in the first place so we're going to remedy that and try to just finish the cleanup and do that fairly quickly because i'm feeling kind of drained after this so i'll be back in just a minute after this is clean to show you the after and here's the after. It may not look very different to you, but there's so much less visual clutter and just, it's, it's so much lighter. I know that there aren't clutter piles in the closet anymore. I can easily get to everything. That shelf that was stressing me out is gone. So I feel happier in my office now. I have a space for things that need my attention or I'm in the middle of working on now and it's not just scattered everywhere around my office cluttering up other areas and in spots that I'm going to forget about it so I'm very thankful I was able to get that done and then at some point I will come back with my husband and tackle this black shelving unit but that'll be done another day. And another day done. I'm kind of shocked that I was able to get it all done, but now I have the rest of the day free. Um, I'm glad this is done. This was, it's always hard when you're like leaving things 
like you're closing doors and you're walking away from it. Um, closing a business is hard. It's definitely the right move. Um, but then like letting go of some of those books I've illustrated is really emotional. I'm still working on series and stuff like that, like other books in the series, but it's just letting those go, just, it's still, it's still hard, but it's done. I feel better. Did I ne necessarily need to get this done for the holidays? No, but I know that I always do like a sale for Black Friday for my art business. So just like making sure that everything's clean and I know where everything is. Um, starting a new business, then like knowing that I have room for that stuff. Um, it, it does really like make me feel better. I'm shocked that I got like, it's basically the equivalent of one garbage bag, like a kitchen size garbage bag full of garbage. And then I emptied seven containers seven containers so yeah and I'm really excited to have a shelf now for like projects in progress or things that need my attention because that's something I didn't have so those things have always been just like piling up and then I never take care of them so I'm hoping that works we will see it's like kind of out of sight out of mind so I'm a little bit nervous about that but I'll keep you updated but thanks for tuning in I think tomorrow is the storage part of the laundry room, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see if I need two days for that. I probably will. Every time that I've thought that I haven't needed the full two days, I've definitely needed the two days, so we'll see. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye.